Why you walk out the wrong side? <laughs> and he did it twice. All right. Y'all ready to keep this show going? I guess I was the only one that noticed that. Like, all right. Anyway, we're going to keep this going. Uh, next comic, uh, first lady of the night. Uh, she has a, a room that she runs, Beauty Bar, every third Thursday. Uh, it won Best in Denver in the Westworld. Everybody put your hand together for Heather Snow. Thanks for coming out on a Wednesday night. All 15 of you. I've been traveling a lot lately. Just got back from SeaWorld. You know where Shamu keeps killing all those people? Personally, I think if you're swimming around with killer whales and you get killed, then that should be called a freak accident. To me, a freak accident is something more like taking a shower and getting hit by a train. <laughs> you guys drinking tonight? Drink up. That's like, oh, let's give it up for your weight staff. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. It's expensive. <laughs> Personally, I think if you're sharing the roads all day long with minivans, elderly people, and scooters, that we should get the roads from 12.30 a.m. until 2 o'clock a.m. to drive as drunk as we want. <laughs> Bring your mom in off the corner, Heather's on the streets. <laughs> but I'm willing to compromise. So I learned at an all-you-can-drink vodka party on Halloween on Colfax, when I was hightailing at home in a white tube dress with snowflakes glued all over my body and a white feather boa, I was six feet of snow. Yeah. What I learned is that people offer you rides, then some other stuff happens, <laughs> and they give you fifty dollars. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so I just lost seventy pounds. <laughs> For the first time ever, I weigh less than what my driver's license says by 20 pounds, so I lied by 50 pounds. So when I'm hightailing it through a school zone at 70 miles per hour and they take my picture and send me one of those tickets, I'm like, that's not me, I'm fat. <laughs> they notice on my driver's license, they're like, oh, I see your birthday September 11th. You must be an expert on the day. How do you feel about moss being built on ground zero? <laughs> like, what were you doing that day? It's like, well, I was recovering from my pre-birthday activities, getting ready for my birthday activities, when some assholes ran into some buildings and ruined my birthday forever. <laughs> You're so selfish. I'm single. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. I get to do whatever I want. I get to hang out with the guys. And people are like, oh, you can't be friends with guys when you're a girl. I say bullshit. You just need a couple of rules. You know, you can't be friends with your boss because you don't want your boss to know that you tell dick jokes all week. And I say, you can't be friends with assholes because that's who you're supposed to sleep with. <laughs> And you can't be friends with anyone that you've ever had the conversation with. Let's just be friends. Because <laughs> you know what that means. I never want to see you again. But well, my friends are always rubbing their happiness in on Facebook with their wedding pictures and their babies like 30 seconds after they're born. Covered in goo. <laughs> So I started tagging their ultrasound pictures with their ex-boyfriend's names. <laughs> hey, back to bitch. I actually came from a pretty strict household. You know, my mom, my mom would let me watch flash dance or dirty dancing, but she, I wasn't allowed to watch Pretty Woman. So I could be a wet stripper, but I couldn't be a hooker with a dream. <laughs> So my mom has breast cancer and she's she's going through chemo. And I was like, I live in Denver. Do you want me to send you some weed? 
she's like, well, what is it too? I'm like, well, you know, it cures the nausea, but there's some side effects. You know, it makes you super, super smart for a while. <laughs> and paranoid at the same time. And you might accidentally fuck the neighbor. <laughs> accidentally. I actually live in one of those up and coming neighborhoods, the Highlands. Have you guys been there? It's like four star restaurants, and people starting families, and then meth heads. <laughs> Lots of meth heads. My neighbor's a meth head. And I wanted to be neighborly and polite. But he's scary. He's like six foot seven, and he's skinny, and he's covered in sores. <laughs> Heather Snow, everybody. Yeah.